Hello and welcome to this latest CloudWords video. My name is Mauricio and over the next few minutes, we'll be talking about Hide My Ass, a pretty well known, but not very good provider. Before we get to that though, please let me remind you to like our video if it helped you in any way and to please subscribe by hitting the bell icon and if you like to see more of our content obviously on your screen and on your mobile. With that out of the way, well, let's look at Hide My Ass. As I said just now, Hide My Ass is a very well-known provider, most likely due to the name being as provocative as it is. However, once you examine it a bit more closely, cracks start to appear in its facade. However, as we like to stay fairly balanced here at Cloudwoods, let's first take a look at what we did like about Hide My Ass. The main feature that sprung out at us was the massive server network Hide My Ass has. No other VPN has this many servers spread out over so many countries, though do note that it doesn't have the most servers overall. That honor goes to NordVPN. However, if you need to do your online banking in a country few VPN service, there is a very good chance Hide My Ass has servers there. Another thing we very much like about Hide My Ass is its interface. On both desktop and mobile, it's an app with just a few buttons all of them clearly marked that you can simply press and get connected. Switching service is also as easy as finding the one you want and then clicking on it. The, we really liked it and wish more services would take their cue from Hide My Ass. Our third big pro for Hide My Ass is its price. Though it's not as low as some VPNs like CyberGhost and NordVPN, compared to the market as a whole, it's actually pretty good at about $120 for two years of service. The monthly rate is terrible, of course, but it's essentially with all VPNs out there. However, besides the price, there's another cost to using Hide My Ass, and that is your privacy. Hide My Ass is owned by Avast, and that company will store your personal information and logs. It clearly says so in the privacy policy that it will keep the time you logged on and off as well as your location. Also, a few years ago, Hide My Ass was very proud to admit to helping the FBI arrest a hacker who was using their service while committing a cybercrime. While we're happy that the guy is behind bars, it's not the job of a VPN who you pay money so you, they hide your ass to cooperate with the authorities in your arrest. So there you have it, a VPN with everything a VPN needs except for a no locks policy. In our book, that technically doesn't really make it a VPN. So we would recommend you stay away from hide my ass unless you want to find out the hard way what the service finds morally acceptable and what not. While we feel certain people could benefit from using hide my ass, you're most likely better off with another provider. And on that note, we'll finish up this video. Let us know what you think of Hide My Ass in the comments below or check out our full review, which we've linked in the description as always. Please don't forget to subscribe and obviously like the video and thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.